My mum's been drinking for as long as I can remember, pretty much my entire life. Even before I realised that she was an alcoholic, she was drunk a lot of the time. And some of the most fondest memories it kills me to look back on and think that she was actually drunk and it wasn't the real her. Most of the time I was looking after her and I did give up a lot to be there for her. I was scared to leave and go out with my friends in case something happened. I was scared to go to school at some points and be in different places just in case that something happened. Because I've been so ill, Kira's become um, like my carer. Um, and she gets lots of support from um, the carers, um, Blackpool Carers Centre and Connect. And um, she's, also, well, she's also been seen by somebody from the Blackpool Crisis team and they all help support her. When she came into the house and said that she'd signed up for Horizon here, um, I'm not ashamed to say that we were all hopeless. None of us believed that it would actually work. And I was on the verge of moving out because um, I didn't want to be, to see, be there to see her in that way anymore. Um, when she started, I immediately saw a change in the kind of person that she was. She was much more open and more confident in the way that she was about herself. And she became so much more of a better mum that I'd never had before in my entire life. I can honestly say that since I became sober and left deep, um, I've started going to college and I've started volunteering here. And I think I'm the most content I've ever been. When she started to go through Horizon, I noticed the change in the house. It was much more upbeat. Um, I noticed that me and my oldest brother, Jordan, started to become a lot happier and we were starting to get help. Um, for the things that we had to go through. And now, just looking back on it, I realise how horrendous the entire situation was. But now we're so tight and we're so close. And I am so thankful and grateful for my mum for doing everything because I know that if she hadn't have done it, she wouldn't be here today. And I would be in a home with my two brothers. Really, my whole life revolves around my children and I've, and I've teetered right on the very brink of living or dying and I just hope I don't let anybody down because I want to carry on like this and I want to make my children proud. I just wanted to congratulate everybody here and thank everybody because it's so incredible what everybody has had done, family members and the people who are actually here and have gone through the journey themselves. A massive thank you to everybody because it's an incredible thing what you've done and I don't think you'll ever realise how grateful your family members will be that you've managed to stop, pick yourself up and you are now yourselves again. So thank you.